Chances are you've seen this before, or this, or maybe even this, if you're like 105. But for those of you who've been living in, say, a cave or an underground bunker for the last century, let me explain what, or who, I'm talking about. <gasps> Universal Studios is an American film production. Oh, Black Universal's Black first feature-length film was Traffic Well. Now I could read this Wikipedia page for days, but let me summarize by saying they made all the movies, or at least the ones worth remembering. Jurassic Park, Fast and the Furious, motherfucking Shrek. Donkey. Let's just say they earned the saucy stamp of approval. So in order to pay homage, homage, home, whatever that word is, I'm gonna be remaking their beloved intro in Blender. So I started by making a UV sphere, subdividing, then shade smooth, ing. Then I made the world color black and added a sun lamp. And that's it for the layout. The shading tab will be our new home from now on. This is where we're going to be adding all the earth textures like the albedo, which is basically a diffuse map just without the real life shadows baked into it. Then there's bump. This uses something called a normal map, which tells Blender to raise or lower your mesh in specific areas. I also added some clouds and atmosphere and those little lights that show up on the dark side of the earth. After that I made the sun, which is probably the easiest part. I made this by creating another UV sphere, adding an emission node, and cranking it up to about 20. Then I played with the colors until it felt right, and voila, el sol. Next up on the list was matching the camera movement. I started by roughly drawing a path that the camera would take, then tediously adjusting it for 20 minutes until it looked right. After that I added a camera, parented it to an empty, tracked it to that path, then proceeded to fiddle with it for another hour until I finally thought it was good enough. For the stars, I originally created this network of Veronoi textures with a flip color ramp so they looked like little stars. But when I rendered it, it just didn't look real enough. So I got rid of that, added another UV sphere, scaled it up, cut it in half, and then slapped a picture of some stars on it. Which is probably what I should have done in the first place. And now for the main star of the show, that shiny text that comes rotating around the Earth at Mach 2. And for this, I didn't make it. I just straight up stole it from this guy. So thanks, Alex! But what I did do is add a metric fuck ton of lights to match the original. And that was the whole scene finished. All I had to do now is render it out. But since I lacked the collective intelligence of a box of rocks, I decided to render out the Earth, Sun, Stars, Text, and Lights all separately for a whopping total of 11.1 gigabytes worth of PNG images. Now all that was left to do was bring it into After Effects and add a few finishing touches. Of course, as it does, After Effects crashed and stopped my recording. So I'll just sum it up and say I added some black bars, a color correction, that text that shows up at the bottom of the screen, a lens flare on the sun, and a small amount of motion blur. I think it's finally time for me to just shut up and show it to you, so here you go. And there you go, that was my attempt at making the Universal Studios intro. If you're one of the seven people who made it this far, maybe leave a comment telling me if this looks like complete garbage or not. Adios amigos.